Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, 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 what's going on everyone? We are here at Target and it's a rainy day and these dumbass people are out here on a fucking rainy day at Target. You think it wouldn't be that packed. You know, maybe people think like I do and say, oh, it's a rainy day. It's not going to be that busy at Target. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. That shows you that human beings uh, think exactly the same, bro. So I was expecting to come here and not not be that many people here because it's a shitty day and this motherfucker is dumb motherfucker can't park because of his big ass truck um but uh yeah we're gonna come in target man it's been a while since i've been here look at that there's a parking spot right the fuck there i'm gonna back in i'm gonna stop recording because i need to focus but we'll see you in target bro okay it's been a while since i've been to target and nothing much has changed let me see uh Huh. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and check out the toy section. Well, they got the unmasked version here of Shriek. First time seeing him. Is that right? Seven forty nine. Wow, seven forty nine for that one. Huh. Is that right? That can't be right. Seven forty nine. Wow, that's not bad. If I didn't have them, I would probably get them. <sighs> they got this still sitting here. Yeah, not much has changed, guys. Oh, okay, being that I don't see anything, I'm going to head over to the uh, Halloween section. But first, they do have some new Masters of the Universe set right here. They still have this guy for sale. Um, and a whole lot of Jurassic Park stuff. <laughs> touch nothing and nothing will touch you eternally on the prowl Alright guys, that kind of concludes our Halloween section at Target. Nothing really going on, so alright, let's get up out of here. Alright guys, so we are coming over here to uh, Michael's. 
on this rainy, crappy day. Found nothing at Target, man. It was pretty much dead. <laughs> I was I was expecting to find something, man, because it's been a while since I've been in Target, but obviously nothing. So I need to come to Michael's because I need to pick up some frames because I have an art show coming up um, October 1st. So we're going to come in here and see what we can uh, pick up. Well, they have a good collection of skulls here. Well, they definitely had a lot more, have a lot more stuff than they did last time. I like that cat statue. Okay, ladies and germs, so, um, just left, where the hell was I? Michael's. <laughs> Actually, I made a few stops in between because I had to do some grocery shopping. But uh, I have to come back to the Spirit Halloween because I still need to pick up a few things at the Spirit Halloween. And hey, let's shoot some more footage. Why not? Tis the season, right? So let's make it happen. skeletons here or more skull should I say how much is this one 20 bucks for that some of the same stuff we saw last time oh look at they have a shark skeleton here scarecrow that's pretty cool for $70 some of the guys we seen here last time. Sam, more Sam figures. All right, that's about all he does. <clears throat> Some of the amazing Halloween mask here. Ooh, I like that devil one. How much is this one? That is 50 bucks for the devil mask. Alright guys, just left uh, Spirit Halloween. I did pick up a bunch of stuff that I really needed, man. So, yeah. Uh, so, uh, we'll take a look at it when uh, when I get home. Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. And I hope you guys enjoyed my little toy hunt, aka Halloween hunt. Um, 
really didn't find anything other than a bunch of shit I'm about to show you. So, I picked up some comic books, I picked up some trading cards, I picked up uh, some Halloween stuff, and also I picked up, uh, I got a mail call, I got an action figure in the mail that I'm going to show you guys. Alright, so first off, we'll go ahead and get to some of the comic books that I picked up. I'm going to do a comic book review coming up. Possibly, I'm shooting for Sundays. Sundays is going to be comic book day, so I'm going to do reviews of comic books on Sunday, guys. So here we go. Number one, Medieval Spawn and Witchblade, man. Can't wait to do a review of this comic book. This is a comic book I've always wanted. As you guys know, I'm fans of Spawn and fans of Witchblade as well. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and read the first issue, get down on some ASMR action. And there you have it, bro. Just a beautiful classic cover from the 90s? Is it 90s? I think it was 90s, right? We'll do, we're going to do a little review on that. We have, I picked up another vintage comic book, Wolverine Battlegrounds with him and Omega Red right there. You know it's from the 90s because this is $1.75. <laughs> 30 years of X-Men, yeah, and you can see, 1993, 1963 to 1993. Just beautiful artwork, bro. Look at the artwork on that, man. Great, great artwork. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, even though I would love to, but... Here's another 90s comic book right here, Wolverine, another Wolverine comic book. Just the overall beautiful artwork, man. Mystique right there, Spyro, I don't know who this guy is, and then Wolverine right there. The artwork alone is worth the price of admission. Another Wolverine, <laughs> simply because, great, great cover, man. These Wolverine uh, artwork uh, covers, man, they are just so they're just they're done so nicely man just the artwork from the 90s especially x-men um you know x-men stuff is just amazing amazing artwork there's another one right there and then we have another wolverine right there with lady deathstrike classic classic cover right there man great great freaking cover all right, let me show you some of the other stuff that I pick, picked up. So as you guys know, I did like a comic, uh, um, I tried to do like a live feed of the Batman Return cards, which I didn't have a chance to because the feed was horrible. So I'm going to show you some of the cards that I picked up. I'm just going to go through them real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them, but I figure, hey, they're worth a look at. I'll, I'll take a look at them in another video, but um, here are like the... Uh, the foil cards, the foil Batman cards, just an awesome, awesome, uh, awesome, awesome cards from an awesome movie. One of my favorite Batman movies ever. Like I said, we're not going to spend too much time on them, but I just wanted to show you guys that. I wanted to do a live, uh, live, you know, feed because I didn't really want to spend too much time on the cards. I just wanted to do like a live feed, and but that didn't work out. All right, let me show you, show you some of the stuff that I picked up from Spirit Halloween, guys. I picked up a lot of this stuff from my new web series called Gangsters and Demons. We have a tail right here. Um, if you guys are intrigued, you can go go ahead and subscribe to my uh, my other page. I'll leave a link in the comment section. But uh, these are some of the things that I picked up from Spirit Halloween crime scene tape right here warning tape uh picked up a black mask a lot of these things are going to be used in the in my web series so here's there's some halloween stuff i picked up just a few more stuff a few more things picked up a chain <laughs> a chain and then um another halloween mask right there all right there's some halloween stuff so let's go ahead and get to the mail i got right here and i got myself another grail figure um as you guys know i am building the pit figure i'm slowly building the pit figure i'm buying all the figures for the pit if you guys don't know who the pit is or the pit build the figure then i don't know what to tell you bro <laughs> I really don't know what to tell you, but we're going to go ahead and open this up. 
and take out another figure. Not even, there's no thing in there at all. There's no uh, bubble wrap or anything. Take that out. And the next figure that I got is the Savage Dragon, bro. That's right. I got myself a Savage Dragon. Not my first Savage Dragon, but um, yeah. There's the pit figure. If you guys are wondering, there's the leg in which he comes with. I want to get all these figures, man. Um, yes, it would be cheaper if I just bought the damn pit figure. But I really want all these figures from this wave right here. The Judge Dread, the Ripclaw. I already uh, had the Super Patriot, uh, the Madman, and the Witchblade. So essentially, I just need one, two, three, four more figures to complete the pit figure. Which is going to be a hard task to do because a lot of these figures are hard to find. And they're really expensive too. So, But that was the only action figure that I picked up. Uh, found nothing in stores. I have a bunch of shit on pre-order. And that's pretty much it, man. So, a bunch of Halloween stuff. Some comic books. Halloween stuff. Action figure. <laughs> More Halloween stuff. Alright, guys. Uh, let me know what you thought about this video. Give me a like, comment, subscribe. You know, all that great stuff. Check out the link in my comment section for uh, the uh, my new web series. And please subscribe to the channel. Uh, much appreciated. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out.